Alright, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the algorithm for division, also known as um, long division. And the algorithm goes like this. It says if we have 132 and you want to divide it by 3, then we look at the first number. Since we can't divide 3 into 1, then we look at the second number, 13. Um, this goes in 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. We subtract that, get 1, drop down the 2, and get 12 again. Um, 3 goes into 12 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract that, we get 0. And that is basically how the algorithm works. One more thing I want to point out is. Um, when we start to derive this, we look at this, uh, we have to look at this very literally. So this number here, when we look at the 1, it isn't a 1, it's a 100, right? Because it's in the 100's place. But the reason that we don't, we can't divide 3 into 100 here is because when we look at the 1 and we try to divide into the 100, we're um, in, the in the position where we're asking ourselves, how many, how many hundred times does it go in, right? And 3 doesn't go into 100 a hundred amount of times. We would have to at least have a minimum of 300, right? For it to go in at least one time. And that's why we have a zero there. Right? Because if we think about it logically, it does go in um, 33 times. So here, why don't I just show you that? If we go at this literally, we can do um, 3 into 100 goes in 33 times. 33 times 3 equals 99. Subtract 99, we get uh, 33. 3 goes into 33 11 times, so let's write that right there. 11 times. 11 times 3 is 33, 0. And so now we have to add these up. And then when we add them up, we get 44, right? And um, that's another approach to it. But really, what I wanted to show you guys was the visual. What's going on here is... You have three groups. And you have, a hundred, you have three groups of an unknown amount which we know is 44, um, added up is uh, 132. And the way we can go about this is um, we ask ourselves how many times um, can it go into 100 in the 100 amount of times, right? It can't go in at all. So then we look at 130. And uh, it goes into 130 40 times. 40 times 3 is 120. Subtract that. We get 12. So here, if you erase this, erase it here. We have our three groups, right? We know it goes in at least 140 times. I mean, 40 times. So let's say that right there is 40. 40, right? So we just covered 120. And since we know that there's um, 132 in total, then we subtract um, 130. I mean, 120 from 132, and we get 12. So we know that there's 12 left, right? And since we know there's three rows, then we divide this again and we get 4, right? And the reason that we, we don't write these here, we just go like this, right? 44, is because we're going by, um, by whole numbers with the, like, the place. So like when we, when we didn't write it here for the hundreds, it's because we didn't have any hundreds. It didn't go in a hundred amount of times. And so now we go into the tenth place, and it goes in 4 times, 40 times. So 40 
times 3 is 120, subtract it, we get 12. And so now we go to the ones place, and it goes in four times. So here it goes in four times. And that covers our 132 amount, and we, have, we can add them up and say that it's 44. And that's it. I hope that was a good explanation. I don't know if I covered everything, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to address it. Thanks, guys. Take care.